eighth pitch. I knew when it was starting getting close, I said, something magical is going to happen. That's why I call it magic number 108. Grant DePorter may be the world's leading expert on Cubs numerology. He wrote a book on the subject, and a huge display in his restaurant documents the significance of the number 108 to the Cubs. From the number of stitches in a baseball, 108, to the last two Cubs inducted into the Hall of Fame, Ron Santo and Andre Dawson. Everywhere you look, it's just, it, it, it's freaky. You know, it's just, uh, you can't get away from it. Wrigley Field was a Signed plan development number 108 in the city of more than 1,300 assigned. And the Cubs' lawsuit for Lysid Wrigley Field in 1988 is documented in volume 108 of the Illinois Supreme Court. Also, the distance to Wrigley Field's foul poles in right and left is 108 meters. And the first World Series game at Wrigley was on October 8th. Yes, 10-8. And the Cubs' last World Series game win was also on 10-8 in 1945. DePorter believes the next will be this year. In our lifetime, there's been never a more magical Cubs year that we've seen, and never a better team. <laughs> A couple of final numbers for you. The Cubs games, the playoff games, are all scheduled to start at 7.08, which in military time is 19.08. And the Cubs need four wins to go to the World Series. Four wins, an average 27 outs each, barring any extra innings. That means they need a total of 108 outs to get to the World Series. Live at Wrigley, John Garcia, ABC7 Eyewitness News. And we looked up the clock tonight when your uh, story started, John. 10.08.